Hello everyone and welcome back to the Adore Beauty YouTube channel. My name is Amelia if you are new. In today's video, we are going to be talking about red lipsticks. I'm going to be taking you through some of my hot tips for getting the best red lipstick look for you and also through some do's and don'ts. So let's get stuck into it. Let's go through some of the don'ts to start with because that's nice and easy. So one of the things that I like to do before wearing a red lip is to exfoliate my lips. And now that doesn't mean that you necessarily need an actual scrub for your lips. It could be a warm washcloth or like me, you could use a damp face halo. You'll find that it removes any dead skin and kind of texture away so that your lips are nice and smooth. And you want your lips to be smooth so that the color when it goes on is also smooth, even, and you don't get any of that like cracked, flaky lip look that you see in your nightmares. So then now we're gonna go into priming your lips. I will usually go in with either a lip balm, like my Lano lips, or I'll go in with a actual lip primer, and this is one from MAC. This is essentially a matte lip balm. So it's gonna hydrate your lips and smooth them out, but it's not going to leave any visible shine, which is the opposite of what you would get from Lano lips. Because this is a thick balm, it is going to leave a lot of shine on the lips. And if you're wearing a matte red lip, then I would have it on for a little bit and then just kind of wipe off any excess or just use your primer, your lip primer. And you can see no visible shine to the lips. They just look hydrated and smooth. So another thing that I like to think about is whether or not I'm going to need a lip liner. It's totally optional. It really just depends on the type of red lip product you are wearing. If you are wearing something that is more bold, very crisp, then you would need a lip liner. If you are wearing one that is designed to look more blurred, more worn in, or if it's like a stain type of lipstick, then I wouldn't recommend wearing a lip liner. You just don't really need it. Another reason that you might want to wear a lip liner though is to give your red lipstick longevity. And that's going to give it more color. It's going to give it more staying power and your lipstick is going to last a lot longer. So another don't would be, don't forget to bring your red lipstick when you go out. I will usually bring my lipstick with me if I'm wearing a bold color, especially so that I can touch up if I'm eating or drinking. There is no lipstick, I don't believe, in the world that's going to stay on through you know, a greasy meal. It would be a magical lipstick if it did. So I would usually just suggest keeping your lipstick with you so that you can touch up as you need. Okay, now let's get into some of the do's. So the first one would be pick a color that you actually want to wear. Don't just pick one that's on trend or you've seen somebody else wearing that you feel like you should wear. You want to be comfortable in the makeup that you're wearing. The second do is to choose the right finish for your lifestyle, for your event, for your makeup habits. If you know that you are going to be eating and drinking a lot, or you tend to touch your face quite a bit, then you might wanna stick with a red tinted lip balm. Or if you are going to an event where you need your makeup to stay on and last the entire evening, then you might wanna look for a more matte, long wear formula or if you want to wear just kind of like a hint of red and you don't want to fuss with it too much then you might want to look at using a red tint do keep a lip gloss or a balm with you in addition to your red lip color i find that when i'm wearing a long wear lip formula sometimes my lips might feel dry and it helps to just tap a little bit of lip balm over the top to help rehydrate them and another do if you are wearing a bold color would be to try using a kind of like corrector like a concealer around the edges if you want a really crisp perfect line so you know those red lips or bold lips that you see in magazines or on instagram where it's incredibly clean a lot of the time the makeup artist has used a concealer and a brush i have the anastasia concealer and you could use a flat edge brush and that will give you a really crisp Clean line. So I just have a little bit of the concealer on my hand. I would suggest looking at a concealer that is more long wear, self-setting, more matte, because then that's going to kind of like give you more of that staying power. That's one side with the concealer around it, and then this side without. And you can see how much more defined and sharp it looks and just like more crisp. And while we're here, I thought we'd go through some of my favorite bold red lipsticks. So the first one would be one that I've mentioned numerous times, and that is the MAC 
powder kiss liquid lip color and this is in the shade max smash this is a really beautiful i would say blue red it has a really nice matte blurred effect it is hydrating as well as being not shiny this is the perfect liquid lip formula for somebody who doesn't normally like matte liquid lips i would definitely keep this one in my bag to touch up with throughout the day next we have the makeup forever rouge artist this is the shade untamed fire and this is what i'm wearing now so it's a red but it has like golden gingery undertones to it which I think works really well with a warmer skin to skin tone, which is mine. It is long wearing, it feels really comfortable on the lips, but it hasn't set yet. I've been wearing it for about a minute. This is meant to be quite long wearing and there is an article on Beauty IQ where Amy does a all day wear test. So yeah, this is a really great long wearing formula. Then we have the Clinique Pop Red Lipstick. This is a new one from them. So the shade that I have is Red Hot and that is 01. This is one where I would 100% use a primer underneath. I would keep it in the bag to touch up and I would always use a lip liner when I'm wearing this to kind of make sure that I get that nice crisp clean line. I do actually love this as a cream blush as well. So I'll often just like get a little bit on my finger or use a brush and I'll just like tap some on. So it's very, very pretty. And then another lipstick that I like, which is more like a lip balm is the MAC Glow Play. So this is in the shade that tickles, which is probably more of a berry kind of tone. It's not really bold, but this is really nice if you want that hint of red, but you don't want to commit to wearing a full on red lipstick. This is really nice just to give you like a little touch of color. And you saw in the video that I applied it with lip liner and this over the top, and it did give me that kind of red cherry look anyway. So yeah, really, really good. And then one tip that I forgot to mention is to use a setting powder a translucent one around either your lip line and on top of the lips if you want to set them and make them last a little bit longer like if you're not already using a long wearing formula and you have something that's a little bit more creamy and you want it to stay then you can take a little bit of translucent powder on a fluffy brush and then just really lightly like tap it around the edges okay that's it from me i hope you found these tips really helpful if you have any questions please feel free to pop a comment down below and also make sure that you are subscribed to the adore beauty channel i will see you in another video soon bye